Hi everyone, my name is Neve Maxweeney and I'm a PhD student at the Division of Psychiatry at the University of Edinburgh and today in the second video of our video mini-series on making your research more reproducible we are going to be talking about the key ingredients of a reproducible research plan and the aim of this video today is to introduce you to reproducible publishing methods and outline reproducible a reproducible research checklist that can help you make your final year dissertation more re reproducible and just to make your kind of journey as a researcher as smooth as possible kind of in your final year and at the very heart of all of this open research is transparency and one of the main ways that we can kind of make our research more transparable transparent is to use a checklist but before we go on to this reproducible research checklist i think it's important to first chat about what does reproducible research look like so there are two main formats the first is a pre-registration and this is a time-stamped read-only version of your research plan created before you begin data collection or data analysis. And then the second one is a registered report. So this is very similar to a pre-registration. The only difference is that this Pre -register, or this registered report undergoes peer review. So it's sent off to a journal, it undergoes peer review and before you start your data analysis. Um, but for the purposes of today's video and for the purposes of your dissertation, we're going to focus on a pre-registration. So if we think about reproducible research as kind of a recipe and there are some kind of key steps to this recipe that you can follow to make your research as reproducible as possible. So for the first is what is my general research question? So what am I interested in? What is my research trying to better understand? And then this research question should inform your hypotheses and these need to be specific, concise and testable. Next, you know, how am I going to go about answering this research question? What variables am I going to use? How will they be measured? And what are my covariates? What's my rationale for including them? We also need to consider the sample size. And, you know, how am I going to put all of these steps together um, to kind of move on to one of the most important steps in this in this recipe for reproducible research, which is the statistical test that I'm going to use to test my hypotheses. And then, you know, there are numerous considerations to, to take into account within these kind of analyses and the, these statistical tests, such as how am I going to treat missing data, skewed data, outliers. So, you know, this all builds up then to, you know, what inferences am I going to make about my data? So I do all these kind of statistical tests and I do this analysis and, you know, how, how do I then use this information to draw inferences about my research question and whether or not my hypotheses are supported? And, and while you may be familiar with kind of some or all of these concepts, a lot of the time, if we look at the research that's out there at the moment, this level of detail isn't isn't there to for someone else to to kind of go back to to your kind of research like let's say your paper and reproduce reproduce what you did so at the very heart of all of our research should be the question does my recipe does my re recipe to reproducible research have enough information for someone else to to make the same study as me so you know throughout this lecture series this is the kind of key question to keep in your mind as you kind of move forward with planning your dissertation, gathering your data and, and, and generating kind of a new piece of work. So why should I care about pre-registration? Well, you know, there is quite a lot of work involved and I suppose the distribution of the work is somewhat different to a normal research project. So you are front loading the work and you're going to spend quite a bit of time really, really thinking about 
you know, how am I going to, what, what's my research question? How am I going to define these variables? What variables am I going to use? How will I go about um, designing my tests? Um, but honestly, from experience, your future self will thank you. And it really helps to kind of mitigate the, the dread that, that is often present when you kind of have collected all your data and then you have to go and analyze it. And this will be very, very helpful for your progress report, as Alex mentioned. And also, you know, you always have a project blueprint to refer to. So, you know, even if you kind of get a bit lost with your project and aren't really sure, oh, what analysis was I going to do? What was my independent variable? What was my dependent variable? You always have like a recipe to go back to. And, you know, you're, I can't reassure you like how, how, you know, much your future self will thank you. And it really does make the whole research process that bit less daunting. So there are numerous kinds of kind of pre-registration templates available online. And what we're going to do in the next video is to do go through an example of a pre-registration to show you all the different like steps and the steps of the recipe involved and how you can hopefully apply this to your own research project going forward and kind of move forward into the next stage of your dissertation in a more reproducible way.